सिनर्जी लेट्स डिस्कस अगस्त 2022 पेपर नेविगेशन पेपर्स चार्ट इज यूज्ड 5047 एंड फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एट 1600 आवर्स व्हाइल स्टीयरिंग 031 कंपास लुंडी आइलैंड साउथ लाइट पोजीशन वाज गिवन बोर 353 डिग्री कंपास एट 1620 आफ्टर 20 मिनट्स इट बोर 285 डिग्री कंपास एंड एट 1720 आफ्टर 1 आवर Bull point light position was given bore 126 compass. Current set 250. Calculate the three position force made good, speed made good, and rate of the current. So let's see what is given in the question. At 1600, we have CTS, but CTS in compass. So we need to convert this in true. So with the formula of the CDMBT, we calculate the true course. So deviation chart number 3 is used. And variation was 6 degree west. So according to that, we calculate the true compass. Once we get true compass, we get the compass error. And we apply in all the three bearings, we get the true bearings. So th now after that, we have the current also. But current we do not need to apply in the CDMVT because we have already in true. So let's see how we how we will approach this question. So my compass error is well 1.1 west. So according to that, I convert my CTS become 030 and 1600 PL is 351.9. So I get 3. So I will take 352, 1620 PL, second PL. So I get 283.9. So I will take 284. At 1720 PL3, 124.9. So we will take 125. So first this is a fish triangle. So what we will do, we plot all the three bearings from the. So this all three, all the three black line is the three point, all the three PLs. Now what we will do, anywhere in the initial bearings PL one, we'll take and apply the our course to steer. It will intersect somewhere in the part in the uh, third PL point B. Now. We cut the engine speed from here 20 minutes and from here 1 hour 20 minutes. Uh, from here it's 1 hour from the B. So it will cut C and D. Now from C we will transfer our first PL and from D we will transfer our third PL. Where this both transfer PL intersect that is called E. So it will intersect here it is called E. Now from C we draw our current 250 on the third transfer PL. So it will cut here, it will get name F. Now F, we apply our CTS to the third PL. So it will be come here, it will become G. Now we join AG. So AG will cut somewhere on the current, will give the name H. And we, now we join this E and H. So we, this Brown line is we join. Now this brown line somewhere cut the second bearings. So this is PL2, second bearings. So it will cut here. So we will give the name I. Now from I, we will again put the current on the first PL, give the name J, and the third PL, third transfer PL, we will give the name K. And from J, we, we again apply the CTS to the first PL, give the name L, and from K, we apply the CTS, initial CTS, and we'll be on the third PL, we get L, we get M. Now we join LM, so LM is our force made good and speed made good. And JK is the rate of current. So this is free triangle against current. Hope you understand this question. If you have any doubt, please write in comments so I can solve your confusion. Okay, question number two. At 0400 hours, 6 in 8.5 miles north of Lundi Island North, position was given. Calculate compass course to steer and ETA. Bristol Pilot Station. Use spring wrench tidal information. Give on the chart for high water at Epionomoth at 10 hours. So what is given in the question? 0, 04 hours, 6 position was given. How? 6 is 8.5 8 miles north of Lundi Island. 
okay and we have to calculate eta to bristol pipe station and we have the 10 o'clock high water at mu mod and spring tide is given so once you see on the charts so north lonely ride is here so it north of the and uh, from the north lonely ride north of 8.5 miles we get the one fix at 4 o'clock now from 4 o'clock we have to reach bristol pilot station so we get course made good okay now we require current so for the current we require this tidal streams so if you look on the charts you will get e somewhere yeah it's unique you see it's e so now you come on e and now your initial is 4 o'clock time so it is 6 hour before 10 o'clock because 10 o'clock is your high water so now you go in e this is high water time 10 o'clock so come here and 6 hour before so 034 1.5 1.1 because it is spring tide so what we will do 034 1.1 we draw the current and from there we apply cut the engine speed so we get the CTS now this is CTS is in true now compass course to steer now they want compass course so we need to now we need to convert this CDMBT so we have the deviation card number 3 and variation was 6 degree west. So according to that we convert in the compass. So hope you understand this question also. If you have any doubt, write me in comment box. Okay, third question. A four line point light bore 157 gyro at 5 miles and next point light is 12 miles off. From this position, calculate gyro CTS to first sighted helmic light vessel. 30 degree on starboard bow in visibility of 2 miles. So what is given? We have one bearing 157 gyro and 5 miles. Since gyro error is not given, we consider this is true. Okay, so you write in comment uh, in the notes in the exam that uh, since the gyro error is not given, so we will consider this is true. So 157 is your true and 5 miles off. And next point is 12 miles off. So calculate the gyro CTS to first sighted helmic light 30 degree on starboard bow in visibility of 2 miles. So visibility was given so we need to convert GR and LR value. Let's see. So we have 4 lane light, uh, four lane lighthouse. Now from 157, 0 and 5 miles we get 1 fix. And from here 12 miles of next point. If you draw this on the chart you exactly get the same position. This position. Now from here you have to draw 30 degree on starboard bow. So we calculate GR and LR from the Helvick Lighthouse. So whatever value this we calculate and we draw the one position circle. Now we calculate the beam distance. So beam distance is equal to distance of into sine 30. So whatever the uh, this arc is get you will get what is whatever arc value get into sine 30 so you get beam distance so now from fix to draw the tangent so this is become b and this is your lighthouse become c and where it cut this your red line where it cut this position circle from there you draw you one line which is intersect the c center of the lighthouse so this ac become your course and this point it is 30 degree on your starboard bow. So this three question is very simple. Hope you understand all these three questions. If you have any doubt, write me in comment box. Thanks for watching. See you next video.